Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another Rust video. In today's video, we'll explore all the ways you can gather materials in Rust. Have you ever wondered how to get scrap the fastest? Well, in today's video, we'll show you some tips and tricks to gather it faster than anybody else. Make sure to watch to the end and comment the word all if you did. Them up and grabbing everything that they drop. The barrels are going to be grabbing, dropping like two scrap a piece, which doesn't seem like much. It really doesn't feel like much either. You're like, how are we getting it? Firstly, we have a great way to obtain scrap. One of the most common and efficient ways to do so involves farming barrels, as they give two scrap per barrel. Then recycling the components dropped, you can even get more. Farming barrels also get you wood signs and other weird items. Recycling those can get you wood, metal and many other materials while recycling components can give you scrap, metal and high quality metal. The best thing about farming barrels is, it's an easy and efficient way to gather many more than one type of resource. The only problem with farming barrels and components is the fact that many other players are competing for it, and barrels don't always spawn often. If you can locate a boat, you can use it to drive around finding barrels floating on the water, which is a much safer way to farm. Hello guys, uh, today we're going to show you how to clamp the dome and uh, show you where the crates are in it. Um, we're going to show you two ways to get up and uh, the fastest. In for number two, we have Dome, one of the best monuments to ever exist in Rust. This monument lets you get four military crates for the cost of five minutes' work. Using a mini copter to do the dome will take you less than one minute and will get you insanely good loot. Dome requires 10% radiation protection to be able to run up the whole thing without getting radiation damage. Mostly smaller groups love to use dome to get materials really early and especially on force or blueprint wipes because the materials you can get at dome are insane. They include high quality metal, heaps of scrap, and many other insane things. For number three, we have which tools to farm what material with. Stone pickaxes will give you just over 75% of the maximum farm from a node, except using a metal pickaxe or above will get you all the resources you can get from each node. The fastest tools to farm any node are the jackhammers and salvage pickaxes. These are both hard to obtain and contain, but a jackhammer is the easiest out of the two as you can get them from weapon crates, or even normal crates on the side of the road. It also adds a social element to the game, but this is rust, so why would you care about being social? The outpost has no radiation at all, so you can be full naked and safe at the same time if you come here. I think the way the safe zone works is pretty good. It stops people from killing each other in an effective way. For our fourth way to gather materials, we have the Outpost Monument, as this monument lets you buy and sell materials. You can buy components such as wood, metal, stone, and even sell all of those. Low-grade fuel is most commonly bought here, as it's a cheap and extremely good way to get heaps of it, as you need a heap of it to craft medical syringes. Outpost is one of the most used monuments currently, but it hasn't been in the game for too long. Many players have found a way to fly minicopters in there and for the minicopter to not be taken or accessed as minicopters carry good value. Nodes, and that is sulfur ore nodes that only gives you sulfur ore, then stone nodes that only gives you stone, and then metal ore nodes that gives you metal ore and high quality metal ore. So by recycling some certain... Lastly, are you sick of farming metal nodes to get high quality metal? The fastest way is to run oil rigs and cargo ships as they give you over 100 HQM. Running these will also give you many other things that get you high quality metal core, and that can sometimes be the difference between an early wipe or a good week. These are also fun to do unlike farming metal nodes or barrels. These are highly contested in the first few days of a wipe as many other players want to get blueprints and other things from there. Well there you have it, there are 5 of the best and easy ways to farm in Rust. Thanks for watching the video and make sure to like and subscribe for more content as we are uploading more and more videos. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one.